Let's check. Oh, what a ball. Oh, how's he missed? Hello and welcome back to the Salmon FM. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. Now, you've probably already noticed that there is no Star Wars themed uh, trail intro for the video. I've decided I'm going to can that for now. Um, but yeah, what can I say? So we are the defending champions of the SAFF Championship. Uh, we've won it twice now, so I've got myself a bit of silverware in the old... Uh, cabinets but how's this year been going well you'll see there on the right that we have played madagascar and drew as well as played a game against pakistan all in the lead up to this competition now this is happening not too long after the saff championships so hence why we're back as early quite quickly to be fair uh, however we have drew a tough group we've got the philippines Jordan and Thailand, two of these teams are higher than us in the rankings. One of them, I think, is roughly about the same. So today's opponents, the Philippines, are 119, so they are below us in the rankings of the world. It's still going to be tough, though, because they are still on a relatively even playing field to ourselves. Next up, we have Jordan, who are 97th ranked in the world, so... Not too far about from where we are. We're, like, I think, 101st now. So it's not too far. So they are within reach and are beatable uh, according to the rankings. And last but not least, Thailand, who are probably going to be the toughest of all the opponents in this little group, who are ranked 84th in the league, uh, in the world, sorry. And yeah, I'm hoping we can get into the next round at least. So. Let's jump into today's team. So, for some unknown reason, this uh, championship only allows you to have 16 players. I have no idea why, but you have your squad and you have your subs, and then that is it for your tournament. I don't quite get it, it's the first time playing it, so if you do know the answer, let me know in the comments. Okay, so the tactic, I am sticking with the lock stock and two smoky barrels. Um, as you can see, I'm... I'm very disappointed with these competition rules because it feels like I've got no options from the bench, but it is what it is and we will do our best. So let's jump in to today's action and uh, fingers crossed boys, fingers crossed. Okay, so I've given the boys a little pep talk and I'm hoping we'll take it into the game. So we are playing our lock, sock and Sutoki barrels and they are set up. Wow, we'll find out how they're set up in a moment. But we are... Oh, I thought it was going to be an early chance there. I thought it was going to be an early chance. They are setting up in a 4-4-2. So, uh, I think Mark Bassett's in charge of uh, the Philippines these days. Uh, so Abdul Saman has the ball. And he's tried an over-the-top to Qatar. He's nowhere near. Um, Ramsey. Uh, finds Ott. Ott is apparently their uh, main player. As Curran comes down the wing here, he whips it in. Thapa clears it. Sato though picks it up. He's got to be offside there. He looks a mile off. But it's not anyway as we break. Come on, Fernandez. Back in the team for this tournament. He missed the last time, if you remember, due to injuries. So did Ster Chetri. As JJ. Oh. Uh, now, I won't have. Sunil Chetri for much longer. He's actually retiring from football in June. So I've got six months with him. And I'm positive I don't actually play until after. So this tournament could be his swan song. I'm going to see if I can get a testimonial for him. But I don't think I will. But I can give it a whirl as we have another highlight. As uh, young man now. It's played over the top. Uh, Chechi is a bit old for yeah, getting that. As Neil Leverage picks up the ball. The blue nose. Not the blues player. And it's not been scintillating stuff, has it? 
See, so even though they're 119th, doesn't mean that we're going to swamp them. As Chechi scores, there we go. We've got the breakthrough, that's what we needed. Come on, the legend himself. Absolute legend. Well, yeah, as I was saying, because they're 119th, we're not going to swamp them. They're going to put up a hell of a game and will take us all the way, I think. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can just keep solid and stick to the game plan. You know, we have only, we restricted them to one shot in the opening 20 minutes, which obviously is good. Okay, so we've done well. We're leading. We have probably just edged it slightly. Causing a few too many fouls. Let's give the boys a nice calm to kick a team, to team talk and we'll uh, tell them to keep going and keep calm. Alright, I'm going to go speak to them. I'll see you guys in just a sec. So I told them that they've played well but there's still room for improvement. I had no reaction. Now, I know they all speak English. I'm just guessing they don't understand the Brummie accent even though they've worked with me for two years now. About three years now. A staffer has it. He finds Katal. No, he doesn't find Katal. He pass makes a suicide pass to Katal. So yeah, if you haven't already, go check out the final episode of Football Moaning. Football Moaning has been a brilliant series. I've met fantastic people. I've come to the end of the second year, and again, I'd just like to thank all the guests that have came on. I've fully enjoyed it. They fully enjoyed coming on. It's got some great views. Um, I'm going to start working on season three now, and it's probably going to be a bit more of a. I'm not searching for the guests. I'm going to let the guests ask me if they can come on. So if you are interested, and you are an FM creator, then by all means reach out. Let me know that you're interested, and we'll set up a date to talk. Oh, as we almost get a second. Um, but yeah. I've loved it. If you haven't already, check out my episode with Lee Monaghan. Evolving Mindset, the charity there, and the mental health awareness. It's been, it was an absolute brilliant episode. A pleasure to speak with him. So, yeah, go check that out. I'll leave the link in uh, the description, or it's going to be above here somewhere. It'll appear as a tab. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you go check it out. Um, it's okay, so we have our whole lot. We've got four players on yellow cards. I'm not too sure what the rules are with suspensions of that because I don't have enough players as average tip, tips over Jedji's shot. But yeah, I don't I'm not sure how that one's gonna work with suspensions, so if one of my players does get suspended, obviously well, I'll let you guys know. If you guys don't know yourselves. <laughs> but yeah. Oh oh I thought that was gonna be a uh, a nice effort there. It's just play it simple boys. I'm happy to win every game in this group 1 now. As long as we're still creating chances, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, and, oh, we almost ate through there. And thankfully, Ott, who's there, star man, can't finish his dinner. This time, anyway. Oh, here we go, throwing for ourselves. Cut out, throws it straight to the opposition. That baffles me when they do that on this game, man. Let's check. Oh, what a ball. Oh, how's he missed? Don't lose it, boys. Make sure it's our attack. Make sure it's our shot. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Ah, oh. oh, what a poor pass that is, Thapa. Oh, that was a brilliant pass. He redeems himself. As Jedji still can't finish his dinner. Okay, so Karunyan gets it to Jedji. Jedji, what can you do this time, boy? He finds Chetri. He finds Samad, who gives the ball away. Your man clears it up. He finds Thappa. That's her a 1 2 we've caught out. Thappa finds Boss. And Boss. Goes over the top to Chetri, and Chetri can't finish it. Okay, so we're right at the end here. Um, 
and they have a corner. If anything, this is where we're going to end up conceding. It's half cleared, stuck back in, and it's half cleared again. Nazari, what can you do? You find Kuran, this is where they score. Oh no, thankfully, <laughs> Sing Sang Do gets the ball, holds it close to his chest, pumps it long. Oh, for Jeji, what can Jeji do now? Can you finally finish your dinner? Oh, he does. He oh, passes to Jeji, and that is game set and match. Come on, the boys. Come on. Oh, here we go. Kick off all right. They're going to get straight back into it and hit me with a double salvio in a minute. I really won't pad it past it this, at this point. Ramsey. Easy for Singh. Singh Sandu. Finds Bose. Finds Thapa. Thapa to Chetri. He finds uh, him, I can't pronounce that name. He finds Sheji. Can we get the two minute salvo? We can. Boom! <laughs> oh, 60th goal for his country, and I'm, I'm think he's, I think he's happy. I'm happy. Every player on our team's almost got a yellow card. We scored three goals, started the group stage in the right way. Um, and they just go and ruin it and take away the clean sheet, which would have made been the icing on the K. But ref, how long electricity do you want to play, man? How long, how long extra? Play two minutes extra so far. Oh, there you go. Right, boys. Hope you enjoyed that. Not really, guys. It's not a double header. Uh, I figured it'd just go on for far too long if that was the case. However, I figured I would just show you quickly how we got on in the rest of the group before we move on to the next episode. So, we faced Jordan. Slightly above us in the charts. We beat them. 1-0. Brilliant result. It got us through to the next stage. Now we just had the mammoth task of taking on Thailand. Who we sadly lost to three two, but look at that we put up a hell of a fight. Um, you know I actually figured we'd done a lot better than we I, I thought we would, but yeah we went we didn't we went down three two in the end. Uh, and I do want to show you the one goal though from Fernandez. So here we are, Fernandez takes a free kick, and he does a Ronaldinho. <laughs> Ronaldinho against Seaman from 2002 World Cup uh, completely catches the goalkeeper off guard and puts it into the top goal corner uh, but yeah I figured I'd show you that goal because it was to be fair I think it was a brilliant goal probably didn't mean it but it was a great goal nonetheless so where does that leave us with the next round well it leaves us with a game against 70th ranked nation the UAE so it doesn't get easier in the second round I'm hoping we can cause a bit of an upset so uh, yeah yeah wish me luck and that's where we'll dive in for the next episode guys so I'll see you soon